stay in shape by modifying your activities after you get hurt. I'm Dr. David Geyer, orthopedic surgeon and sports medicine specialist, and I provide education and commentary on all sorts of sports and exercise injuries and injury treatments and injury prevention for athletes and active people, probably much like yourself, so that you can stay healthy and perform your best. Now, when I was in college, I, I, I probably haven't told this story, uh, even though I've probably mentioned that I broke my ankle in college, but I want to tell you about the aftermath of that injury. So one Sunday night, I was jogging. I love to jog and lift weights, you know, late high school, college, and on. I, I've always been very active exercising. Well, I turned my ankle while running. I was uh, stepping off a sidewalk onto the road to avoid a lot of people on the sidewalk and my foot landed where the pavement kind of falls into the little gutter area, rolled my ankle. Thought I had just sprained it, but after about 10 steps where I couldn't put any weight on it at all, I knew there was a problem. Went to student health, they sent me to somewhere to get x-rays, found out I had a fracture, and at least back in those days, I was in a cast for six weeks. Fortunately, I didn't need surgery, but was in a cast for six weeks for it. Now, again, I like to play sports, uh, intramural sports, that was obviously out but I wanted to exercise. Obviously running was out, but more than anything, I at least wanted to do something active. So I wanted to lift weights. Now for the first few weeks of it, I was non-weight bearing. So I was having to get around on crutches. So I would go to the gym, hobbling around on crutches, not putting any weight on my ankle and doing arm workouts as best I could. You know, I could get to the bench and then do bench press and I could uh, basically sit down and do curls and could do a whole upper body workout. I even figured out a way to use the rowing machine to get some cardio activity. So that's what I want to talk about with you today is ways to get exercise despite not maybe even a specific injury but pain because I hear so often and I think all of us that do sports medicine hear this, you hear so often that people use pain as an excuse not to exercise. Literally just yesterday I had this discussion with somebody in my office, somebody that had knee arthritis that wanted to run but couldn't. But that doesn't mean he can't do something else. I mean, there's debate about whether or not running even makes arthritis worse, but it can certainly hurt, so I certainly understand not running. But you can do other things that don't aggravate your knee or your hip or wherever the problem is. You know, if it's a lower body problem, maybe you switch to upper body cardio, like swimming or like using a rowing machine, things like that. Maybe it's a shoulder injury and you like to lift weights. Well, some of the exercises are gonna hurt. Things like military press and bench press probably are gonna hurt your shoulder, but you could you know, maybe modify the activities. Find some different exercises like lateral raises that allow your shoulder to get a workout uh, or you know, modify your chest exercises or, or work with a trainer and figure out how to modify your routine. But there's always ways you can figure out to modify what you do and still get in shape, still exercise. Even after surgery, talk to your doctor and figure out if there are less impact things to do. A lot of times after knee and ankle surgeries, yes, we're not gonna let you run right away, Whatever the surgery was, we need it to heal. But, you know, again, maybe you can swim. Maybe you can ride a stationary bike, things like that. There's almost always something you can do. And it's not just good from a uh, strengthening standpoint. It can help you uh, lose weight, stay in cardiovascular conditioning. There's always something you can do. So don't use pain. Don't use injury as an excuse not to exercise. Now, have you suffered an injury or battled chronic pain and it keeps you from exercising? I'd love to hear your thoughts. So below this video, share your experience and how you adapted to it or what your doctor recommended. I'd love to read it and I know readers and viewers all over the world would love to hear your experience because they're probably going through the same thing. And if you know somebody that's currently dealing with pain or an injury and can't exercise the way they want, please share this video with them. I really want to get them exercising as well, so please share the video. If you like information like this and you want more videos on sports and exercise injuries and injury prevention and injury treatment, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I record a couple of these videos every single week and they'll get delivered directly to you. And last, there's all kinds of resources on ways to stay healthy and perform your best. Not just videos, but written articles, audio podcasts, things like that. 
that I love to share directly with you completely for free. So go to my website. The link is down below, drdavidgeyer.com. Enter your first name, enter your email address, and I'll deliver those a couple times a week directly to you. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to sharing more injury prevention information with you. So again, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I look forward to seeing you right here next time.